chapter 2 we see paul here is paul today we are going to learn le parti du corps that is body parts and le visage that is face so first starting from here this is le push that means first we will pronounce then we will uh, see the meanings then is le ma please repeat le ma le duag le duag le pol le pol i want you should speak le pied le pied le ortei ortei la jambe le genou la cuisse l'estomac le bras le coude la poitrine le cou now let us uh, see to the meanings le push means thumb please write it down in your books le ma means hand Next is le doigt means finger. Next is le poule means shoulder. Next le pied means foot. Le orti means toe. Next is la jambe means leg. le genou means knee la cuisse means thigh le stomach is stomach next is le bras means wrist le coude means elbow la poitrine means chest and the last le cou means neck so these all are your partie du corps now comes the face let us read le front les sourcils lesi orai la don ou le do la long le menton la bouche le nez orai oi e le yo le chevo le front means forehead le sourcil means eyebrows and they are masculine that's why i have written m here le c means eyelashes orai means ear la don means teeth tooth and le don means teeth la long means tongue le menton means chin la bouche means mouth le nez means nose loi et le yo this means i and this means eyes this is the plural one last le chevre means hair so these all are your le visage means the parts of face now we are going to learn what are the position of adjectives 
which adjectives should be placed before the noun and which adjectives are placed after the noun that we are going to learn so avo means before the short description adjectives avo means before and apre means after the short description adjectives are always placed before the noun placed before noun here we have noun so before noun other adjectives which have short description and after noun what type of adjectives are placed other adjectives which other adjectives such as color nationality and form placed after noun now what is the color it can be blue black green so whenever we are talking about the color that color will be placed after the noun nationality is indian canadian uh, francais allemand angleterre so uh, anglais these all are the nationalities which will be placed after the noun and form what is the form form means uh, how that adjective is means if we are describing the face then what type of adjective is it okay means the face is round the face is um long way the face uh, is big the face is small so this kind of adjective of form is placed after the noun color nationality and form now let us see what are the short descriptive adjectives okay let us just write the short form bags bags b stand for beauty a stand for age g stands for goodness and s stands for size means these kind of adjectives are placed before the noun now if i am saying beauty so what can come that the girl, boy is handsome the girl is beautiful the girl is pretty jolly the boy is pretty to so without eat will be placed the girl is ugly liar you can also use so these kind of adjectives comes in beauty now age age v i is old jeune is young so this is describing the age that the boy is that the man is old the lady is young theek hai and new nouveau the building is new the building is old on si hai etc v i and jan are used with human beings and nouveau and on si hai is used with buildings or apartments now goodness he is my good friend he is my best friend bo mayer move is bad then is jonti is kind and vrai is true and fo is false yes and if i talk about size the girl is fat gro the girl is slim pati if we will add eat will become feminine gro is big pati small gross is fat man's is slim hot is high bas is low so these kind of things come in size now let us take the example say a batimo theek hai this is a building but here adjective is not given now adjective is given in the bracket that is nuvo now this nuvo what is the noun here seta batimo batimo aapka noun hai noun that is building noun is the name of person place or thing batimo jo hai wo noun hai 
so this nuvo will be placed before the noun so your answer will be set a nuvo batimo is it understood this was the first example one more example is <clears throat> Set Yun Farm. This is a lady, and she is gross. She is fat. Now, gross is what? Gross is size. Now, size also comes before the noun. Here, noun is farm. So, your answer will be Set Yun. Now, gross will be changing to feminine. In feminine, how we write gross? G R O W S E. So, Set Yun Gross Farm. So according to the noun, you have to change the adjective also. If the in the bracket the adjective is given in masculine form, and in the answer they are asking about feminine, so you are going to change the adjective into feminine. So this G R O S changes to G R O W -S, S E. So you have to change that too accordingly. I hope it is clear. Now comes to. adjective which are placed after the noun so if i am saying set you void you this is a car and the color of car is black that is noir okay now this is in masculine form n o i r and void you is feminine you in void you void you is our noun Our answer will be set yun voiture noir n o i r e because I have to change this into feminine. This is my answer. So adjective of color will always be placed after the noun. Now adjective of nationality set yun farm and the. This M D A is masculine, but here we are talking about farm, that is lady. So we need to change the nationality also into feminine. Your answer will be set yun farm M D N double N E. And third example for the example of farm, Mary a love massage. And the uh, form is round, round. That is round. So Mary has a round face. Again, the adjective of form will be placed after the noun. So visage is a face that is noun. Mary a la visage round. So this will be the answer. So what is the adjective here? Noir placed after the noun. Here the adjective is n d n. Placed after the noun that is farm. Adjective is round and the noun is visage. Again, it is placed after the noun. Here, if I talk, noun is farm. Adjective is placed before the noun. Noun is batimo. Adjective is placed before the noun. So this is what we are studying today. That which adjective is placing before the noun. and which one we are going to place after the noun